Hey, 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 we're Snappers, it's Dwight from the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Grey Version Season 4. Uh, this week we are wrapping up the NU tier with uh, badge number 4? One, two, three, four. Yeah, badge number four, which is going to be the normal gym. Uh, we are up against uh, gym trainer Klongar here. Uh, Apollo uh, throwing up some moves there. Took the Blissey down, but going to go down to the Weird Ear here. Uh, at this point, this week, um, these, these battles must have happened towards the beginning of last month. Uh, because uh, a bunch of Hisuian Pokemon had just made their way into the into the tier. Home had just opened up and... Uh, and, and a bunch of Hisuian Pokemon were in the mix. Uh, so you'll see, like, half of my team is Hisuian Pokemon this time. They're technically... Well, I don't know if they're technically Gen 9 Pokemon, but they're they're new enough. They're new to Grey version, at least. Uh, and so <laughs> I went ahead and, and didn't feel too bad using them. Aberforth goes down there. Uh, was a weird ear that I used in my... Uh, in, in my uh, run of uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus there. River coming in, uh, throwing up the gunk shot, doing some good damage up against the Pyroar there. Uh, gonna go down to an overheat, um, which point then Widget switches in. Widget gonna take a hard overheat there as well. Uh, gonna throw up the Volt Switch and uh, switch on out, taking down the Pyroar, at which point Goober switches in uh, to Sushinu. I don't know what that that means. Uh, Goober uh, going to uh, uh, start setting up the uh, the curse while uh, the Ouroboros, uh, not the the Dun Dun Sparks, uh, uh, going to start setting up the coil there, uh, hoisting me by own, my own petard. Uh, Bru Bruno going to come in though and finish it off. Uh, at which point then going to break the sub. Uh, Toros going to keep setting up the sub. Uh, Bruno going to keep going for it. <laughs> just just back and forth. It's probably more cost effective to take sub damage than it is to take crunch damage at this point. Especially when you get the Endeavor off. That works pretty well. Uh, but not enough to finish off Bruno. And down goes uh, Gym Trainer Klungar. So thank you so much for participating and being our first battle of the week, Klungar. I greatly appreciate it. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we are up against Gym Trainer Shunasaurus and uh, Tweedledee. Uh, we've got a Dunsparce here, Aberforth uh, up against uh, Donner, uh, a Spider-Man pointing meme, uh, and, and then uh, going to take a hard Megahorn and go out, uh, at which point then River switches in, uh, the close combat going to land on Tweedledee, it's going to go down there before it can get another glare or something up. Uh, Joffrey going to force out River, Goober switching in, forcing out Joffrey, Donner coming in, and... Uh, Throwing up the uh, Intimidate, uh, Goober going to be able to start setting up some curses here uh, as Donner keeps chipping away at us with Earthquake. We get a good Iron Head off, but uh, good is a relative term, I guess. Doesn't really do much to the Weird Air. Goober goes down without being really all that effective at all. Apollo then switching in. Uh, the Earthquake going to be enough to finish it off. Uh, Widget then switching and throwing up the Dark Pulse, finishing off Donner. Should have done that originally. Uh, Widget's got Levitate. Uh, and uh, uh, the Shadow Ball coming in from the Dundon Sparse does good damage on Widget. Widget swif switching out. Bruno coming in, uh, tanking that Shadow Ball like it's nobody's business. Uh, Terra's into the Dark Type and throws up the Crunch. Uh, that worked for us pretty well against the Dundon Sparse on Klungar's team, but unfortunately not enough to finish off Tweedledum. Uh, and uh, Bruno going to go down. Widget then coming in and going down, uh, at which point then River switches in. Uh, River's going to throw up the close combat and finish off Kimba, um, and uh, and then Nigel going to come in, go down to a close combat, uh, and, and then we just have our poison fighting type up against the psychic type, so nothing could go wrong there. Uh, the close combat not going to do much, and then the stored power without even anything being stored is enough to finish off <laughs> our weakened and uh, vulnerable uh, uh, Hisuian Sneasel there. So uh, thank you so much for participating this week, Gym Trainer Shinosaurus. I greatly appreciate it. Let's move on to the next battle, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against Gym Trainer. Very normal Adoram. Uh, Aberforth going to throw up the Bonnie Slam there. Uh, not going to really do a whole lot for us. Uh, the Psy Shield Bash, similarly going to do not really much of anything at all. Uh, the Seismic Toss, not doing a whole lot, uh, but we start missing moves and Chansey starts healing. Uh, uh, we're setting up some screens here, things like that. Um, but then hopefully Aberforth gets out of here. Maybe I just sack Aberforth. I don't remember. There we go. Aberforth comes out. Uh, Widget is going to be immune to the Chansey's Seismic Toss, so that forces Chansey out. Uh, the Will-O-Wisp landing on the Sawsbuck. Um, Volt switching on out. Uh, we're going to bring in River. Uh, Sawsbuck starts setting up the Swords Dance there. 
Um, River throws up the gunk shot. It misses, but enough to uh, force out Sawsbuck. Uh, Braviary comes in and going to get intimidated, but still going to have enough power to take down Aberforth there. Bruno comes in with the Retaliate. Uh, it wasn't enough for the Braviary last episode. Not going to be enough for the Braviary this episode. Uh, Braviary survives it, switches out. Uh, Widget uh, going to come in and take the play rough for uh, Bruno uh, and go down. Bruno then switching in, going to take a play rough anyway and go down. for <laughs> uh, uh just not taking any prisoners today. Uh, River comes in and finishes off the Ursa ring there uh, then Zangus comes in and Terra's ghost um, so that's that's rough start setting up the agility there get some toxic poison going um, but uh, the facade is gonna be enough to do some pretty good damage up against even a steel type there finishing off with the close combat on goober uh, at which point then Apollo switches in the facade gonna just connect and finish off uh, thanks to the agility, and then River switches in and just takes a facade and goes down. So, a uh, very dominant display from very normal Adoram this week. Thank you so much for participating this week, Gym Trainer Eddie. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Let's move on to our last Gym Trainer, and then we've got our Gym Leader. So, here we go. Alrighty, guys, here we are up against Gym Trainer Scad. Scad leads off with the Blissey as I lead off with Aberforth. Uh, Aberforth doing some scouting, body slams there, wanting to get the paralysis. Unfortunately, uh, uh, not strong enough to finish off the Blissey before it paralyzes us. Um, gonna go ahead and just let Aberforth do his thing, I guess. Um, uh, gonna take the Intimidate from the Imposter Ditto there. Gonna go ahead and switch out in face of that. Uh, Ditter switches off out in face of Bruno. Um, and then Aberforth comes back in for the Braviary, getting the Intimidate set up, but unfortunately Defiant, uh, throws that back in our face and raises its attack instead, uh, so that, that was, that was dumb. Uh, Aberforth, uh, survives a close combat, but is then paralyzed, uh, so not gonna be able to do anything else before going down to a close combat. Uh, Aberforth goes down, Bruno then comes in, uh, Ditto Imposters into Bruno. I throw up the Retaliate and finish off the Ditto immediately. Uh, so that works out there. Sked didn't get to have any fun with her Ditto. Um, uh, Belzel, guys, uh, is gonna roost and then get on out of there. Bambi switching in. Um, gonna throw up the Zen Head, but not do a whole lot to Widget. Widget starts setting up some nasty plots. Uh, not terribly afraid of Sawsbuck, apparently. Uh, Frank uh, going to come in as Widget continues to set up Nasty Plants. Going to tear it into the Ghost type just in time to take a Dark Pulse. So that works out pretty well. Getting the Flinch as well. So pretty lucky on that one. Uh, the Kamala going to go down. Uh, at which point then uh, the Ursaring comes in. Going to take a, uh, a Burn. Um, the Play Rough doing crazy damage uh, for being burned. Widget going to go ahead and switch on out of there. Uh, Bruno coming in, taking that Play Rough. I guess I'm sacking Bruno because that was stupid otherwise. Um, <laughs> Apollo switch again. Going to come in with a close combat and finish off the Ursa Ring. Um, and then the Braviary are going to come in, take a close combat as well. Uh, not really going to do spectacular damage there. And Apollo goes down to a Brave Bird. Um, Widget then switching in, gonna throw up the Volt Switch and finish off the Braviary, leaving just, uh, uh the Saw's Book on Gym Leaders, or Gym Trainer Scad's team, uh, which River switches in and throws up a Gunk Shot, which connects and finishes off the Saw's Book. So, um... Uh very, very fun a battle. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, half, half the turns uh, of our battle last week. Uh, so um, the stall fests are always fun, but always good to just get a get a quick one in there too. Uh, but uh, thank you for, so much for participating this week, Gym Trainer Scad. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you to all of our gym trainers. Uh, and we are now jumping into the gym leader. So let's see if we get the bad, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we are up against Gym Leader Codeman, and uh, we both lead off with our, uh, our, uh, 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 uh Weird Ears there. Oh no, uh, uh Codeman's got a, uh, that's his ditto. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, the Sawsbuck switches in, uh, Widget gonna land the burn there. Uh, the Leech Seed gonna miss on Widget as we start setting up the Nasty Plot. Uh, the Leech Seed finally going to connect here as we Volt Switch on out. Uh, River going to come in and force out the Saws Buck. Um, the, uh, the Close Combat landing on the Fighting Poison type not doing a whole lot there as the Ditto goes for the Switcheroo. Um, so the second Close Combat going to do a little bit of damage but not enough to really survive. Um, and uh, and down goes uh, uh, down goes Apollo and River. Uh, Widget is immune to the close combat, so we'll stick that out. I think Widget's probably immune to everything that Dodo's gotten as River, so 
uh, that works out for us for the most part. The play rough uh, going to land and do pretty good damage. Uh, the dark pulse able to get uh, the Ursa Ring in toxic range. Uh, so that works out pretty well. We've got a Fire Terra uh, Squawkabilly here. So that's fun. Uh, Bolt Switch still able to finish it off as Widget switches out, bringing Aberforth in. Uh, the Horn Leech uh, doing some good damage there. Why didn't Intimidate activate there? That's interesting. Um, the Saw's butt goes down. Uh, the uh, I always want to call this thing Ouroboros. Uh, the Dundun Spires switches in. Going to start setting up those uh, signature coils. Uh, Aberforth just hoping for the paralysis there. We do get it there on that turn, so that's pretty good. Uh, the Psy Shield Badge not really doing much at all. Uh, Body Slam doing really good damage to Aberforth. Aberforth really didn't do much this week. <laughs> I love I love the Pokemon, but uh, didn't do much for us here in uh, in NU. Bruno then switching in, unfortunately getting the paralysis from the Body Slam there, uh, landing the Crunch, uh, but not able to do a whole lot given the defenses that the. Uh, uh, the Dunzun Sparse has been able to uh, bring about. Uh, we do get the Paralysis there, which gives, saves us a turn of healing, but unfortunately then Bruno's going to go down. Widget switches in and throws up the Bolt Switch, finishing off the Dunzun Sparse. Aberforth then comes in and uh, is going to uh, uh, be up against the uh, the Ditto there. Um, Aberforth is going to be able to finish off its counterpart on the opponent's team. Uh, and then another beautiful Shiny Bravery. Be shiny Bravery is really pretty. I don't know that I've ever seen it before. Uh, Widget going to go down uh, to the Bravery, leaving us 1v1 here as Goober switches into a close combat. Bravery going to lower its defenses for us there, which is fantastic. We're going to start setting up the curse a little bit. Um, and the close combats are, are going to chip away a little bit as our defenses raise. Um, and then I just go for a test iron head there. It does really good damage. And so I realize, okay, we don't need to set up a ton here. Let's go ahead and just finish this off. And so we do, and down goes the Braviary, uh, and down goes the normal gym. So thank you so much for participating this week, gym leader, code man. I greatly appreciate it. Um, let's jump over to the spreadsheet, shall we? Now that we've got our badge number four, we got to figure out what it is we're going to be doing uh, next week as we move into the RU tier. So here we go. Alrighty, guys. So here we are on our spreadsheet now. Um, we are going to be rolling for our encounter type. We've got rival battles, evil team battles, or titan battles. So we'll go ahead and pop a three here and click somewhere off the two. Uh, we just did evil team. Let's let's roll that one more time. <laughs> we just we just. Oh no! Now I've broken it. Now I've broken it. Oh no! Oh no! It's a one! <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it's been a little bit since we've done a rival battle, so that'll be fun. Um, really wanted us to do Evil Team again, but we literally, last year we did Evil Team, so we're not going to do that. Um, so yeah, rival battle, there we go. Uh, Titan would have been fun too, but I think uh, just before Evil Team in PU, we did Titans. We must have, right? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yeah, PU Titans. So, um, so that's it's good. We've we've not had a rival battle uh, since uh, since ZU. Uh, so this will be good. People get to refresh their teams a little bit. Uh, it'll be fun to see. Uh, we we'll be in the RU tier, I guess I should say. Uh, it is singles because I believe uh, we don't have doubles opening back up again and potentially until UU. Um, I'll have to double check that, but uh, but I, I believe that. Uh, there's no doubles below. There's like little cup, and then there's nothing between UU and OU. I think is what it is. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. We've got RU rival battles this coming week. That'll be exciting. Uh, looking forward to seeing which of my former team members have got evolutions in the uh, the upcoming tier, uh, as I usually do, just kind of trying to bring some continuity to the whole exercise. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for participating this week. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, again, once again, thank you for your continued patience. Uh, uh, the month of July was very very busy for my family so uh just did not have opportunity to uh, uh took us a couple weeks to get some of these battles in uh for some of these episodes and then it, it took me even longer to find time to record them so uh thank you guys though once again uh as always i've been torment the great and you guys have been great look forward to going up against you guys with your ru rival teams and uh, i will see you guys all back here next time all righty guys have a good one